Hi, welcome to the intro to JPS tutorial video. My name is Joey Gaprath, and I'm the technical director at the Jacobs Institute. Many years ago, we started the MakerPass program, which is a really exciting way to get students into the makerspace and using our machinery through a training program and an orientation system. Uh, we've had to put that on hold because of COVID, but that also gave us the opportunity to develop some really exciting resources that uh, we're opening up to all students on campus for academic work. So let's dive right in. So let's head on over to jacobsinstitute.berkeley.edu. On the top right corner, click on Making at Jacobs. And you can see this Making at Jacobs page does a great job of describing the program in general, and most importantly, our tiered access system, which starts off with tier one users being research within engineering. This semester is the first semester we've actually opened the whole program up for academic support to the whole entire UC Berkeley community. The first thing everybody needs to do is to register. So you can find that link here on the JPS page. And then once you've registered, you can come down here and submit your part for fabrication. The most common areas people submit parts to are laser cutting and Ultimaker 3D printing. And once you click on one of these links, it just pushes you over to a Google form that's gonna ask for all sorts of important information. Some other important resources that we're offering are our office hours with design specialists. And this page allows you to find a time that works best for your schedule to talk to one of our really talented design specialists about any questions you have, whether that be submitting a part or how to pick up your part or the, the specific fabrication. If there's a design specialist you have in mind already that you wanna meet with because their expertise lines up with what you need, come on down to this part of the page and you can actually book an individual office hour with that individual. Lastly, another exciting resource that we're offering are virtual workshops. We have some set ones like Fusion 360 or Rhino. And um, we'll be offering more all semester long. Tucked in over here is another really great resource, which are video tutorials. You found mine, but there's other really great ones here too. Usually with things like how to prepare your part for submission as it pertains to a certain process. For instance, laser cutting and illustrator file submissions. Keep checking back all semester long as we will continue to add more tutorials to this page. Some common questions are around billing. Currently, we're not char charging for PLA for our Ultimaker 3D printers, but other materials like high-end 3D printing materials or laser cutting materials will be charged to the student at the end of the semester. And we do all our billing starting out with our Shopify. When you sign up for JPS, you'll automatically have a Shopify account started for you. And over there, you can find out really particulars about how much things are costing. Um, shipping is something we do charge for, and you can find shipping charges on our Shopify account for normal three-day shipping or overnight shipping. You can provide your own materials. Uh, just simply come by during our one of the open window pickup times and drop it off. JPS parts can be picked up at our pickup window, which is open every weekday from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. and then 5 to 7 p.m. in the evenings. Our pickup window is located on the south side of Jacobs Hall and uh, you can see here the breezeway. This is the Echeverry breezeway and this is the area on the side of our building where we have a couple double doors right here uh, and you can find the pickup window there. You can also use that time to drop off materials to our staff that you want to have your part fabricated out of. And finally, this is a work in progress, so do expect things to change over this semester and most definitely before next semester. If you're in JPS, you're automatically on our mailing list, so look for those emails which will have helpful updates. Thanks a lot and happy making.